Hi, so this is how we do our Photoshop Fall Basics tutorial, okay? The one where you're going to learn how to use the clone stamp tool. So, um, if you look at my screen, I have this uh, PDF that's attached to the assignment. I have it open and resized, okay, in a, so that I can read the d directions and do the assignment at the same time. This would probably be the best way for you to do this, okay? Have the instructions open here on this left side and then have Photopia open on the right. But for the sake of this uh, recording, I'm just going to make my screen as big as I can so that I won't have to necessarily mess with that, okay? I'm going to bring this and put that over there and maximize my screen. Okay, so I have my picture of the two people with one of them holding the parasol and this is the one that we're going to uh, clone out the power lines remember so I'll drag that picture in to Photopea and there it is so the step number one what you're going to do is you're going to add a new layer okay you'll click on this icon here it's to the left of the trash can so click on that icon that says new layer alright click on that and now you see if it's added a new layer and step number two you're gonna select the clone stem the clone tool okay click on the clone tool and then step number three you're gonna change it from current layer to all layers for the sauce okay once again after you have selected the clone tool go up to sauce change it from current layer to all layers all right and because this is something that we're going to need to see in detail I'm going to do control plus a couple of times okay to zoom in control plus a, few, a couple of times um, let me undo this real quick uh, I'm going to go zoom in in other words uh, I can use this uh, zooming in to let's see this one zoom tool and just click on it all right I'm going to zoom in to where, uh, let me see, alright, oh, come on, alright, I'm going to zoom into the power line right here, so I can see it better, okay, the power line, right there, I'm going to zoom in to the power line, alright, hold on the space bar when it becomes a hand, and I'm going to do that, alright, so, once I'm there, I'm going to go back to my Remember, I, I changed tools by clicking on the zoom tool, okay? So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go back to my clone tool, select that. Then I'll come up to the, my brush, okay? The brush tool, I don't want my brush to be 100%. That's too hard. I'm going to drop it down to like maybe 40, 42%, something like that. And maybe make my brush... Uh, okay let's say I'll leave my brush at 15% okay alright leave everything else the same now here's the thing I'm gonna hold down my option key okay option key or the alt key hold down the option key or the alt key and then I when you hold that down you'll see you get up like a plus sign so I'll click on there and that's gonna be where my I'm gonna sample from I'll click on there and then I'll move over down here and I'll I'm gonna take away those things right there see so this is this is how I'm cloning out all my my power lines just like that okay so this is what you have to do okay get rid of all these power lines okay every now and then if you click and you see that the, the point didn't go away so you have to resample again so how do you resample you hold down the option key you get the plus sign like that so you're gonna click on there and then you're going to just draw again and resample okay see just like that now don't get impatient I know that some of you will get really impatient and want to get done with this really quickly okay don't get impatient because um, you'll see that if you get really impatient your work is going to be very um, it's going to look very the, the brush is especially if you set the brush to be very hard so right now I think my brush is still a little hard I'm gonna drop it down to even less than 
I'm gonna drop it down to maybe 20% right there 20% okay now let's try it again so I'm gonna hold down my option key and start clicking up there see I'm getting rid of all those power lines see it's kind of easy to do once you get it okay there so I'm gonna come down to this next one hold on my option key click on it and then there I'm clicking on it and there there see all right there so that's how you do it so when you get to the people in the picture that's where it's a little bit trickier okay let me zoom in again so I'll switch to the zoom tool I'll zoom in there I'll zoom in and then I'll switch back to my clone clone tool okay this is where I'm gonna hold on an option and I'm gonna I'm gonna click on there to sample and there see I've broken off the edge there okay I've broken off the edge so what you have to do is maybe make your brush smaller left bracket key makes it smaller and then you sample and then you just start the paint away see right there make your brush smaller and then you can paint away all those things there so sample left bracket key to make it smaller right just like that okay so as we're cloning let's take a look at some of these areas here uh, where you might not see the the results that you want so with the clone stamp tool selected okay you hold down the alt or the option key depending on whether you're on a Mac or Windows machine so if you click on here to sample okay and you mouse over there you you see a preview like okay it's gonna cut that away it's gonna cut away don't forget after you hold down the option key and you click to sample okay you may release you should release your option or alt key before you click again okay if you don't it's it's not gonna work so you're gonna go in here and just clean this up so don't forget to zoom out a little bit every now and then just so you can see your work check your work okay I'm going to sample again so that I want to get an area that looks even okay and sometimes you won't notice that it's even until you zoom out okay until you zoom out so now I'm gonna zoom out and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about I'm zooming out and you can see now you might have heard me use the term non-destructive editing and we call it non-destructing non-destructive editing because all this work that we've done is on a blank uh, is on a blank layer okay it's on a layer so if I change my mind all I have to do is click on the eyeball and you see how it's on a separate layer if I want to start over all I have to do is delete this layer right there like that just delete it by clicking on the trash can okay that's it so the original picture itself is still intact there okay it's still intact and it's safe okay that's why it's called non-destructive editing okay so go ahead and finish this up and um, that's it so when you're done okay you will go up to file save as PSD okay you're gonna save one as PSD because the one that is a PSD can preserves the two layers so that it is editable and then just before you're ready to turn it in you know if you had really really done editing you're gonna go to file export as and choose it as a JPEG save it export as a JPEG okay